My business philosophy is that you just have to work harder than everybody else. I think we all think we're working hard all the time. But I always tell my kids, they were like, yeah, we know you work hard. I'm like, no, it's not just I work hard. It's that I put in harder work than everybody else. I work harder and harder and harder and harder. And when everybody's sleeping, I'm doing more. I said, and that's what it takes to have that kind of success. It's just a relentless pursuit of creativity. Mogul, I think somebody who's in charge of a lot of things, a big corporation, let's say, somebody who has a proven track record of winning, having success, and not that they're without flaws or, you know, like almighty or anything, but they're powerful. They make things happen. I started in the business dancing. The fly girl on In Living Color. Before that, I was dancing in shows wherever I can get them. As I was dancing, I started studying acting. Acting, I started auditioning for acting. After acting, I was like, I want to make my album. Music is my first love. I can do this. After I did the movie Selena, I was more motivated than ever. I was like, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. And so I just kind of followed again an organic path of what I wanted to do and what my dreams were, really. Playing small ball, I do I do baseball metaphors now, just so you know. <laughs> Playing small ball is really what gets you, you know, the wins in a sense. I loved singing and dancing and acting. That was my joy. But I had all these other things that I realized that I was being prepared for that I had no idea. Like I did sports and that gave me a certain type of discipline. I worked in a perfume store. So when I came to the time where somebody asked me, we should do a perfume, I'm like, ah! I know everything about perfume. You know, it's like I was a creative person. And from my love of singing and acting and dancing came all these other opportunities and I was able to seize them. Very early in my career, I dealt with a lot of stuff like that. Not getting the passes that the men get, you know, when they're misbehaving or doing whatever. And I was never someone to misbehave, but you know, you're late and you're like chastised in front of the whole crew and you're the lead of the movie and the male lead is late and nobody says anything it's like fine and you're like wait a minute i just i was put in the in the dungeon last week for this you know what I mean? and you realize there's such an injustice and an imbalance and then you know little by little you start asserting your power you don't have to do it in a brash ugly loud way just in being the person who really makes the money for people, <laughs> you know what I mean? Who helps other people be successful, who makes things happen. Traditionally, you know, when you think of director, you think of this guy sitting there, you know, with a suit and tie sometimes behind the camera. We have like all these images, like set in our mind of what things should be. You see a nurse in a nurse uniform, you see a doctor in a doctor, and it's a male, you know, and a female, and then it's like the world is not like that anymore. You know, and I think it's just been hard to break those molds. But now I feel like women, we're realizing we have all this worth and value and that we shouldn't be so quiet and on the sidelines. We're such nurturers and supporters and lovers that, you know, we were fine to kind of like help the guy out. <laughs> you know what I mean? And help him be as successful as he can be. And now we're realizing, wait a minute, I have so much to offer. And I think we've known this for a while, but we haven't acted on it and now we're acting on it, and now we're kind of living more out loud. Staying around a while, being there, having consistency, not being able to be written off, you know what I mean? Whereas before, like, the questions they would ask me, like, so your ass is really big. You know what I mean? You're like, yeah, it was disrespectful, like crazy. After a while, they go, but I'm still interviewing her 15 years later. Okay, I guess she's not going anywhere. She's gonna be around. Gotta give her a little respect now. <laughs>